In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your 2D, 2D uh, cover templates into 3D using Photoshop. Uh, in order to do that, we need to get some Photoshop actions that will automate this process. So there are a couple of options for you. Uh, the cheaper one is go to the graphicriver.net and just uh, type book mockup or just go to the links that are in the resources in your product. For example, Drawbeer ED has really good uh, Photoshop action. You can see really nice professional e-covers. He has some for the books, for the software, for the boxes, and various stuff, uh, different things. So you can just uh, check out what he offers and other people on Graphic River. You can see the price is only $6. It's very cheap uh, for these actions. Another option is Cover Action Pro, that's what I use, but it costs $147 for the first plan. But it has over 100 different cover templates. But you can just start out with Graphic River and you can still get, you can see, really high quality 3D e-cover graphics. So I just purchased this one, by Book Mockup Generator, and once you purchase that, let me go back here, you're going to receive these files. So you're going to receive ATNs, these are the action files and depending on the Photoshop version so if you have Photoshop CS3 you just uh, double click this one CS4 or 5 you do this, I have CS6 so in order to load it just double click it and then when you go, go to the actions right here you will see the you will see this uh, this text if you don't see actions just go to the window and click actions and you will see the actions window. Um, okay, cool. So let's start and first generate a template. So just uh, click generate template and click the play. What it will basically do is just load actions that were re that were recorded before by the creator of this action. So it will save you a lot of time because someone already did all this work for you. And you can all you have to do is just uh, preload it and it will just uh, do the actions for you. So this is the template that we're going to use. So in this space you have to put your book cover and this is a space for a spine. And uh, we're going to use this, uh, this cover template. So on the right you will see in the layers window we have to select all the layers. So just uh, with the ship select all the layers I would just ignore 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. These are uh, default layers, so just ignore these ones. And select the others. And just uh, drag and drop into new window right here. If you don't see the layers, it means they are below the these layers. So just uh, drag it and drop at the very top. Let's make it a new group, so just drag it into this folder icon and you can see we, ha we have it in the new group in Photoshop. We can now move it and just press the V or select the move tool on the left. We can move all the layers right here. Now we have to make it bigger. So just click Command T or Control T on your keyboard. Now press Shift and with the Shift just go down. Make sure you have Shift selected all the time and they just make it bigger and bigger now my cover templates are not designed for this Photoshop actions because each each Photoshop actions are is going to use a bit different template with a bit different dimensions um, so you have to make a couple of small tweaks uh, to make it work um, so let's make it that it will be here in the middle all right so Okay, good. So once it's done, just click OK. You can see that the uh, the, the template here is much uh, the height is much much bigger here. So we actually we actually have to spread it uh, this background right here. So the background is right here at the bottom. All these four layers and the pens uh, are responsible for the background. So all you have to do is just select all these layers, click Control T, and just move them down. Just move it right here. Also, we have this layer, 
this is for the offer section so you can see what I do is just right click click on the layer and just move it down then we can right click this layer for the offer name and move it down that's pretty much it, you can also put an image or anything you want in this section but we are done and uh, just make sure that you have all this this space and this space filled up so it looks good so once it's done and we can select from two different mockups so these are basically different uh, styles of the 3D e-cover so I'm going to select mockup 1 so all you have to do is just press play click continue and it will do all the work for you okay it's done so let's click stop now it seems that on in these actions uh, sometimes it may the, the mockup image will be beneath different layers so you will not see that so in this case just press ctrl T for the mockup layer then click uh, ctrl C or command C on your keyboard to copy the layer then click file new click OK and just press ctrl V to paste the layer and this is the image alright let's make it smaller let's do it um, select C on your keyboard or just select the crop tool on the left let's do it 500 pixels let's do it 450 click OK let's zoom it up um, we can also do filter sharpen sharpen let's do edit fade sharpen to make it a bit less sharpen like 25% and that's pretty much it. We can also remove the background on the right to make it transparent so it fits any background on your website. And then you can just save it. So file, C for web. If you use a transparent background, I would recommend a PNG file. Otherwise, JPEG is, just, is also good. Just click save and uh, that's pretty much it. So that's how uh, you can use um, the, the actions from the graphics server uh, to create the 3D e-covers. If you want, if you have my, if you have the other option that I told you about, Cover Action Pro, you want to get it, I'm going to show you how to do that um, using these actions too. So, so let's go back. Let's load this uh, one more time. Just uh, so this is the the cover and we're going to use the actions from Cover Action Pro so now this is a much simpler process just go to the image image size go to the percentage 500 percent and uh, all the cover template you just received are designed for the pbook 001 pbook 001 for the Cover Action Pro action so uh, so just load this action, pbook001, click render, step to render, click play, and it will create um, a 3D version. Okay, it's done. So let's uh, go on the left, select the crop tool, or press C on your keyboard. Let's do 450 pixels. Let's uh, just crop it right here. Double click it. And it's done. Now let's uh, select all the layers with the shift. Then press Command or Control E. Control E. Then go to the filter sharpen sharpen and then go to the edit fade sharpen let's do 25 percent and um, remove the background if you want a transparent one then go to the file save for web and just save as a png 
file. So that's pretty much how you can turn these images into 3D. You can see with the Cover Action Pro it's a much simpler process, but it's more expensive. A graphics server, it will require a couple of tweaks, so it may require a couple of changes to, to make it fit with the dimensions they use in the actions. Um, but that's the options that I found the best. I couldn't find many free options to do 3D covers that are of the just a decent quality. So I recommend to actually pay for doing this and uh, pay someone or just uh, do it yourself so you get much better quality. Okay, thank you so much for watching.